I have been going to Disney, you've been going to Disney for years and years and years. And I don't know about you, but I've been going to Disney a lot of times when saving money and doing Disney on a dime was super important to me. And I have ways that we would go down when there's a family of five and, and make the experience magical. And you have ways, you have 102 ways to be exact. So when we talked about this topic, I said, if you could have 10, you know, what would be your top 10? Maybe you're a little bit famous for top 10 lists. <laughs> Maybe you could share your top 10 ways that people could save money in Disney. And I think there are a lot of people who are ready to travel again, ready to come back to Disney, and it's changed exponentially since maybe the last time they were there. And there's so much to do. And some of the pricing has changed. Some of the hotels have changed. Help us plan a trip to Disney where it doesn't, we don't have to, um, you know, auction off our firstborn child. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there is a, a, a misconception that it is incredibly expensive and I can't afford to, to go to Disney, which was really the impetus for writing the book in the first place, because even you don't need 102 ways. I mean, buy the book, but you don't need 102 ways. Like, and I'm, and I'm, and I picked out 10, which can potentially save you literally thousands of dollars, like on a vacation, just by following these simple guidelines. I won't even go into minutia and specifics. So you can apply any or all these to your upcoming vacations. And I think the first and most important time is not where to stay, what tickets to buy. It's when to go. And over the last few years, it's been interesting because having come to Disney for so many years, there is no more slow season anymore, but that's actually a good thing because it's thanks to discounts. So it's a win-win for everybody. The best times of year to go for a variety of reasons are early November, early December, January, February, early May, again, avoiding any holiday weekends. Why? Because it's the best weather, low crowds, and the pricing is the best as well. Disney uh, fluctuates their pricing like everybody else does mm -hmm. in slow, moderate, you know, high seasons. These are the low times of year, but the super, super sweet spot, say for one little thing, is probably September mm. when kids are going back to school Mm -hmm. And Disney is looking to fill the parks because all the families aren't going to be here. You can get some of the best deals money wise mm -hmm. and lowest crowds that you're going to find all year long. Still mm -hmm. a little warm. You're mm -hmm. going to find this out very quickly, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Winter lasts for like two weeks here. But, any, you know, September, November, December, again, avoiding the holiday weekends as mm -hmm. much as possible. You'll you will get the best discounts. And sometimes you're looking at 30, 40 percent off mm -hmm. rack rates. Even the Disney resort hotels, even on property hotels. Absolutely. Yep. Wow. So that's a beautiful sweet spot for parents who have younger children mm -hmm. who are not in full-time school yet for parents. If their kids are on, have, are still virtual school or online school, or frankly, if you just don't care and you're just going to pull your kids out of school. <laughs> this is <laughs> I was pulled out of school all the time as a kid. I turned out okay-ish, I guess. I know. So. I know. I think we'll be okay. We did a quick mom-daughter trip one year in August before the girls went back to school. I don't remember if it was right before Jenna's senior year when it was, but it was, we had never been in August. And yes, it was hot, of course, but it's hot. It was hot in Indiana in August too. Mm -hmm. So hot is hot. It's August, whatever. I felt like we walked on every ride. It was like, come on in, Boris family. You can do whatever you want. It was, and I'm like, where is everyone? That was such an interesting time. It wasn't Labor Day, which I, I wonder if that's, would Labor Day be a crowded weekend to avoid? Very, very. You're always, you know, you can start by process of elimination. And, and I understand work schedules, school schedules, yeah. but if you can avoid the holiday weekends, Okay. They're going to be the most crowded and the most expensive and mm. usually the most hot. So that's a, an unholy trifecta there yeah. that you want to try and stay away from uh, as much as you can. Because then you walk out there going, oh, my trip was terrible. You're like, no, you just chose the wrong time. <laughs> right. Well, because you're like, I wait a minute. I just paid a premium to yeah. come when it is the most hot and the most crowded. Like, why yeah. am I doing this other than it's the yeah. only time that you can go? Yeah. Okay, great advice to start with. That's number 10. I feel like we'll probably have more than 10. Just, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to try and stick to 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number nine. So in addition to when to go, knowing where to stay is, again, mm -hmm. a great way to save a potentially ton of money. 
Disney basically has three, four different levels. There's value, moderate, deluxe, and then vacation club resorts. Mm-hmm. They are all incredibly well-themed. Um, mm-hmm. Some of the value resorts might even be better, more well-themed than even some of the more deluxe, elegant style resorts like a Grand Floridian. But staying in a value resort, again, off-season, You can find great rates at All Star Sports, Movies and Music, Pop Century, Art of Animation, which also Mm -hmm. has family suites as well. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid to to one, skip the view. Right. Mm -hmm. Think about how much time you and your family really do spend in the resort. Do you need if you're looking to save money, you Mm -hmm. probably don't need to go to Animal Kingdom Lodge Mm -hmm. with a Savannah View room and a deluxe accommodations Mm -hmm. look to the value resorts don't worry about the view Mm -hmm. and even look to some of the resorts in disney springs Um, they are good neighbor partner hotels especially Mm -hmm. if you have marriott points hilton points i don't know if holiday inn has points like b resort whatever it is there are great resorts down there there is free transportation to the parks you can walk to disney springs and you can get amazing rates there as well 